are you, folks? Welcome to week one of the End Zone presented by TiVo. Jason Horowitz alongside Ian Eagle. Each week, we'll be coming to you right here on CBSSports.com and on your TiVo DVR via TiVo Cast, bringing you the top five stories around the NFL. Each segment here on CBSSports.com or on TiVo. And this one focusing here, Ian, on the Giants and the Cowboys and the matchup of the week as far as quarterbacks, Eli Manning, Tony Romo. And aside from yourself, nobody more scrutinized in the NFL. Well, wait, wait. Well, <laughs> You're throwing me right into the mix here. And look, Eli Manning, if his name was Eli Jones, none of this would be happening. The fact is, he grew up the younger brother of Peyton Manning. Peyton, as we know, was destined for greatness. Eli was always kind of the other brother. And I think because of that, the scrutiny's always been very high for Eli. He ends up getting traded on draft day as the number one pick, controversy surrounding that, that he didn't want to play in San Diego, and the pressure mounted because where was he traded? To the media capital of the world, New York City. With that said, if his name was Eli Jones, I don't think he would have as much pressure on him, but I don't think he would have had all the ballyhoo and hype surrounding him as he entered his NFL career. Uh, we're going to get into it here because Eli is a guy that handles it pretty well, Jason. Yes, he does. But all in all... He's got to have that next step in the development of well, his process of, as a quarterback. That next step, though, Ian, has to be the fact that he's got to cut down on his interceptions. The man has thrown 44 interceptions in two and a half years, we'll go with. He's been the starter for two full, two full years. Last few games of his first year in his rookie year in 2004. Got to cut down on turnovers. Yep. But he's got to have someone to throw the ball to. And in this matchup, you've got Tony Romo going up against Eli Manning. And I think in this situation... Manning may struggle more because his weapons are hurt. Plaxico Burris did not play a preseason game. Has had ankle injuries, back injuries. Jeremy Shockey's working on a hamstring problem. Tony Romo may not have Terry Glenn, but he's got Terrell Owens. Jason, if you look at the numbers, though, Eli Manning's numbers, if you just judge them at face value, they're solid. They've been solid. Yes, the interceptions have been a big issue for him, but I think... Again, the scrutiny has been a little bit stronger than for somebody else that's in it as a two-year starter, two-and-a-half-year starter. The questions with Tony Romo now, Jason, have to deal with uh, whether or not Tony Romo is the guy we saw throughout <laughs> the first ten games yeah. as a starter last year or when teams started to figure him out. Yeah. You know, look at the numbers right down the tail stretch of that season and – I think for Romo, he was riding that wave, and now defensive coordinators have tape on him. They, they've got a scouting report on him. How does he respond to that in year two as a starter? Well, Tony Romo will be remembered for two things last year. One, dating Kerry Underwood. True. Which both you and I approve of, which is fantastic. Well, and you just threw me into that mix there. You no, it's okay. I, I, I speak I, for I us. do agree, but <laughs> check with me first Wait, on this. Can I things. get the two? All right, here's number two. The second thing he'll be remembered for is the botch snap uh, in yep. the playoff game in Seattle. What people may forget is that he threw five touchdown passes against Tampa Bay on Thanksgiving Day. But then after that, oh. five games, last five games, when the Cowboys were two and three. Mediocre. Six touchdowns, eight interceptions. So he also has a lot to prove. Let's focus on this game specifically here and who has the better advantage because both secondaries last year were terrible. And in this situation, the Giants secondary is already banged up before the season has even start. Yeah, I think the Giants also were dealing with a lot of the soap opera issues during this off season, yeah. and you know, look, Tom Coughlin recognizes this is probably it for him. He's got to win this year. He's got to take this team to the playoffs. This idea that it's a make-or-break year for Eli Manning is silliness. Eli Manning is going to be the quarterback of the New York yeah. Giants next year and the year after that. Tom Coughlin's reign as the head coach of this team—that's more of a question mark right now. Who has the edge in this game? Dallas has the edge. Uh, the Cowboys, yes, they're healthy, but a new head coach there, question marks as to how they adjust to his style. Uh, that remains to be seen. Big picture for Dallas, but we're just dealing with week one right now. Yeah. And week one, you got to give Dallas the edge. The one thing we have not mentioned in this whole big picture, I know we're dealing with week one, but we'll see it right away. There is no Tiki Barber to help Eli Manning in the backfield. We have to find out what Brandon Jacobs is all about, and we will do that against the Dallas defense. Although, one last point, they never really took advantage of Tiki with play action. If you think back True. to what the Giants did. So Eli never benefited from that part. He benefited from the fact that, that Tiki Barber was a tremendous weapon and could rip off a 65-yard run. The Brandon Jacobs situation, clearly one that we've got to keep an eye on. What we're also finding out is Tiki Barber can rip off the mouth as well, and he will be doing that throughout the season. Folks, that's, that's just the tip of the iceberg that was here. a nice transition. Thank 
Thank you. I appreciate that. That's it for this segment of the Enzo. Stick around or tune in to our next segment or all the other segments on CBSSports.com. You can always rewatch this or any story from the week throughout the year on demand, available both at CBSSports.com and on your TiVo DVR via TiVo Cast. Be sure to get in the end zone in your living room. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.